What's going on everybody, Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. This is the weekly mailbox clear out. Been doing this every Saturday and what I do is I go through everything that was sold on the auction house through different characters, different professions, and uh, transmog and just anything that gets sold in the auction house. I wait until today to empty out my mail so that I can share it with you all some different ways to make gold. This is not an inclusive guide on how to make gold, but this is a general idea of some of the types of things you can do or can sell to make gold. Timestamps are in the description below, but it is gonna be best to watch this video all the way through because some weeks I'll do more on one profession than I do on another profession, and so you really don't wanna miss anything when you're uh, trying to squeeze out every bit of gold you can, especially here towards the end of Dragonflight. So any idea is a valuable idea at this point, so I recommend watching it all the way through. That being said, feel free to join the Discord. The link is in the description below. Sub to the channel if you like the content. If you've been watching for a while and you haven't subbed, I would appreciate a sub. If you're not sure, feel free to watch and then sub afterwards. Like the video, easy enough for you, really helps me. And let's get right into it. We're going to start off with a Shroom and Boom. And I'm, I'm thinking I might make this guy my main going into Dragonflight. I'm not sure yet. Uh, skinning and Mining, both really, really great for old content farms. And I'm going to be good going into Dragonflight as well. And I did a few farms last week on this guy uh, live stream that I did not know about. So thank you to everyone who was watching and uh, let me know about these farms in uh, the Burning Crusade farms. They are in Outland. And some of them are uh, their rep items, right? The Damn Scale Basilisk guy, uh, the Dreadfang Venom Sack. These are going between like 60 and 70 gold each and selling well. So thank you for that info. Um, so let's just go through here and see if we have anything of note. Uh, as you can see, uh, the damp scale basculus, the dread, uh, fang venom. Um, let's see, dread fang venom sack right here. Sold 15 or 17 of them for 1100 gold. That's not bad. The abyssal fragment. I was actually in a gold, golden mains rains farm and this dropped in a storm song valley, which I didn't know that it could, but it did. Uh, here's a stone crane gauntlet. That is just a transmog. Um, let's see. Spectral grog. I did offload some of those early, uh, on when the price was still a little bit up from the, uh, the farm in, what was it? Shadow moon Valley. Is that what it's called? It's in Draenor. It's the farm where you are farming for the, uh, coin of many faces. And it also drops the grog right now. They're going for 17 gold each. That'll go up when the hollows end ends. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, not high leather. That comes just as a side note from some of these other farms. Uh, wind scales. I started farming wind scales. Um, also in uh, Blades Edge, Ma Blade Edge Mountain uh, as a BC, I think. Um, Burning Crusade farm. So uh, that was really good. And you can see I also got some nether dragon scales there as well. Pretty good. So those are actually, uh, this is better than the cleft hoof farm uh, that I was doing. I think the wind scales and the nether dragon scales. Uh, Pack runner helm of the Aurora. Uh, Sunspring spotter. Just some more little transmog I'm getting rid of that I've had for a while. Um, Theratos charred chest plate. This was a, this is a recent item. I'm not sure where I got this. It was a drop from... I want to say a dungeon or something here in um, Shadowlands. Uh, but anyway, I sold it for like 2,000 gold. So I liked that. Let's open that up. We do have uh, 13,000 and a half gold here. But we've got 42 emails. Uh, or not emails. Ugh, just mails left. The uh, There's 100 showing. So let's go ahead and uh, get those out of the way. And then we'll look at the rest here. Okay, so um, here's some of the ones that didn't show beforehand. More of the same stuff, right? Dreadfang Venom Sack, 20 of them for 1,200 gold. Uh, Primal Air from the Primal Air Farm. Some Fell Scales. So uh, more uh, Dam Scale Basilisk. I'm surprised that these were selling. I was, I was really surprised at that. So 3,690 gold there. Let's open all that up. All right, so pretty good farm right there, actually. Um, gold for the week from some of the old world farms that I was doing and uh, just old transmog and, 
and stuff like that. So it was really fun uh, figuring out what makes gold with the wind scales and nether scales, the damp scale basilisk, the venom sacks. I, I enjoyed finding out those uh, new ways to make gold. That was really fun. And, uh, and they sold, so that was awesome. Uh, yep, so let's go ahead and move on to Beard of War, Blacksmith, and Engineering. Okay, Beard of War, Blacksmith, and Engineering. Um, I've been working on the past couple weeks my TSM profile for my Blacksmith and Engineering. It's in the Discord. Uh, it is not yet complete, and I don't have the full um, TSM profile that I'd like, but I am sharing it as it becomes available. So let's look at some of the stuff that we sold here. Frost Steel 2, uh, 1158 gold. I'm really surprised at some of the old school engineering crafts that sell. Uh, you can look here, this is a lot of the uh, Ceremonious Waste Guard, Ceremonious Breastplate, Ceremonious Gauntlets. These are like 60, 70 gold to craft, and they're selling for like 500, 300, 200, 346. So this is uh, just the level 87 novice gear you can make. You don't even need to be level 60 to make this stuff, so that's pretty good. Wormhole centri Centrifuge, 3,800 gold, really, really nice. Ceremonious Warglaive for 800 gold, I mean, come on. These things cost like 80 gold to make. If you're not making the level 100 weapons and you have blacksmithing, you're really missing out. This is really, really good gold right here. Adamantite Sharpening Stone, old school craft, um, and it uh, does sell. Some more Ceremonious stuff. Uh, Shadow Steel Greaves, this was probably a 262 for 4k. Just a bunch of little stuff going on here. Some more Shadow Steel Gauntlets for a 1600. Swap Blaster, this is, uh, I think this is Draenor. It's an engineering craft. Uh, 4,200 gold, really, really awesome there. Uh, Precision Life Force Inverter, that's the uh, level 100 gun. Didn't actually make a lot off of that, though. A couple hundred gold. A bronze war hammer. Now this is this is really crazy. Let's let's actually look at this real quick. Let's pull this up. Blacksmithing. The bronze uh, war hammer. Look at this. This cost. If y'all can see it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's move this over so you guys can see it. Um, this crafting cost on this is uh, thirty five gold. Cost me 35 gold to craft this, 03 sell rate, and it sells for 961, that's 878 gold uh, profit. And as you can see, it uh, it did sell down here. So that is, um, that's crazy, right? <laughs> uh, but it sells, so I'll take it. Um... The big one, or the bigger one, I'm sorry, this is a uh, an old school engineering craft as well. Just a lot of uh, good stuff in here. Some hardened adamantite tube. Sold for thirteen hundred for twenty of them. Lore master tackle box, six hundred eighty gold. I made about five hundred gold on that. Fractured cog wheel. Now this, this is something I made a video about. I think this is one where I traded. You either have to trade like some obsidian bolts or like a, uh, a tackle box. There are crafted items that you trade for these cog wheels in Stormwind or Ogremar or wherever your engineering uh, vendor is for those two main cities. And you can buy these and uh, with crafted items and then you can resell them on the auction house. So I probably made about 300 and something gold on this one. Uh, here's some big stuff down here. Fell iron casing, 50 of them for 3,231 gold. Sky Golem. It takes 30 days to make this. Um, I craft a Jarge Peculiar Energy Source every day. And then when I um, have 30 of them, I buy the Living Steel and then make these. Made about 20k on this. Steelbound Harness. This one is sweet. I make about 25k on this. So that's really, really good. Uh, Shadow Steel Sabatons, 262s, 5k. I mean, there's just so much good stuff in here. If you, if you find one profession that you like and you really, really hone in on it, you can make a lot of gold. It's almost, might be even better than, you know, spreading out your time into different ones so very very good there let's go ahead and open all that up with 113k and i do want to check and see how much uh gold this character actually uh made this week okay we'll pull up tsm here uh let's deselect all and then let's pick this guy here okay now this this is what i this is what i like to see right 
Last week we were at 1.596 million, so we'll just say 1.6 million. And then now we're at 1.681 million. So we 681 minus 596. I don't know what it, what is that? Like four, uh, like uh, almost 90,000. So maybe like 85,000 gold. I will take it. And let's see what we got next on our jewel crafter which i uh, started making my tsm profile for jewel crafting as well and it is uh, working out really well jewel crafting is still making a lot so let's check it out captain fantastic is my mining and jewel crafting character i have not mined anything in a long time as a matter of fact i have not even left uh uh the uh, main place here in bastion a little home base here. I just sort of stay here and craft, and that's pretty much all I do. I was really surprised, though, that jewel crafting is doing so well. It's been a while since I've actually uh, set up my TSM and then ran the profile to see what I want to craft. And I did that this week, and uh, it really, really paid off. So these are all sales. I think I did this like on Monday, and it's Saturday, and I've just been reposting. And this is a lot of the sales that came through. Super, super happy with this. I mean, these are like the level 100 and level 87 rings that people can equip at level 50. And they're, they cost about 50, 60 gold to make. And look what they're selling for. 959, 576, 986. This was probably a 262 that probably cost about 1500 to make, selling for 3,800 gold. I mean, this is insane. This is really, really, really good. And you can see it's just more of the same stuff. It's just rings and necklaces. This isn't even like the panther mounts, which I do have, but I just I have not posted um, in a while. But uh, this is this is absolutely crazy, the amount of gold from jewel crafting that I'm still making, right? Four or five hundred, five hundred. I mean, and every one of these I'm making like four or five hundred gold on, and then these here I'm making several thousand, probably three thousand gold on this one very 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 good and some of these are actually um level 100 selling for a thousand gold or level 87 is even selling for 1000 gold so that's pretty much all it is we scroll all the way down and that's it's all um 262s 100s and 87s rings and necks that's all that is 67,000 gold let's open that up and i'm actually interested to see what this character uh did as well let's see how big of a jump we had from last week very very happy with with jewel crafting the thing with jewel crafting is is you make um good gold because you're the only source for like rings and necks um and that's a lot of uh times people are going to fill those in because right now they're not conflicting with any like four piece sets or anything like that uh so people still buy them and let's see where we were at we were at uh, 3,462,000. That's wrong. <laughs> Let's deselect all that. Go to Captain Fantastic. Here we go. We were at 726,000, and now we are at uh, 778,000. So what was that, like 52,000 gold just from rings and necks, low-level rings and necks. That is super sweet. I'm so stoked about that. Happy with that. Let's uh, let's go to something not as exciting. Uh, my leather worker, who is I have not really done anything on this realm this week, but let's see if anything sold. Deadly bones, leather working and skinning. Um, rogue. Let's check the mail. And no, I had a bunch of auctions that did not sell. And then I sold some desolate leather arm guards for eighty-four gold. And a gore smudged gavel of the fire flash, which is, I'm assuming, a transmog I picked up from somewhere. So let's just open up, uh, let's open up everything, and then that way I'll have to uh, repost that, and I'll take that few gold that I got. So, but look at some of the items that I do have listed: flaming hoop, fifty-four thousand gold, O4 sell rate, gonna make five k on that when it sells. Leather pet leash, forty-eight hundred. On my realm, and then I got my War Bear Woolies, which do sell, um, not super often, but I get about 13k out of them, which is 12k uh, uh, gold profit. So I've got some really good stuff to list. I just don't pay as much attention to this character like as I should, right? I should list on him a little bit more. Um, and Silent Adventure Hat, low sell rate, sells for a 9k though. And the Emerald Welpling. So I got some good stuff that I am uh, selling. Uh, but just have not sold yet. 
So let's move on. Turkey Club. Uh, blacksmithing and herbalism. I just took them because I was leveling and decided to grab herbalism and then blacksmithing because this used to be my blacksmith on this realm until I moved over Beard of War. So I'm thinking about changing him though to maybe like tailoring and enchanting. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really hardly play him. As a matter of fact, this is the character that I think I may run Iron Docks on. I want to do a week of Iron Docks. Um, I had a guy say, I made 130,000k every week in running Iron Docks. I'm not sure I believe it. Even if you get that much, I'm not sure you sell that much in items. Uh, but I want to try. And I think this is the guy that I'm going to do with it because I have the least amount of stuff on him. And I want to only be posting uh, things from Iron Docks. But anyway, that's upcoming. Um, this I did get from Iron Docks. Sumptuous Fur, 13 gold. The ceremonious stuff, this is stuff that I crafted. Didn't sell any of the transmog that I had gotten from Iron Docks, which is to be expected, right? But uh, 2,200 gold on this guy here. Uh, not that it's to be expected that you don't sell transmog, but I think I ran it like two days ago, and a lot of times it takes a little while to sell, at least in my experience. And I'm just listing everything that, that I find uh, from that dungeon. So right now, these are like an example of some of the things that I've gotten to drop. And you can see they sell for 3,000, 1,000 like 1,000, 3,000. And so the, the price is up there, right, on the transmog, but there's no sell rate on it. So I'm questioning how uh, lucrative it's going to be. Anyway, uh, there's that. Let's move on. Tubby Butter, my bank tune on this realm. Let's open up the mailbox. Um, Didn't sell a lot. Uh, we did sell Servant of Demidose. This is a um, rare that you can camp in Shadow Moon Valley in Draenor. And uh, I've sold several of these um, over the past few months. Uh, 9K, 9.5K, I'll take it. And another pet that is also from a Draenor uh, farm, the Empowered Mana Fiend for almost 3K. So 12K here. Let's open that up. And let's take a look at our total for the week here. Select all. All right. So, looks like we ended at 3,462,000. Uh, is what we ended with uh, last time. 462. Okay. And then right now we have 3,638,000. So 3,638,000. Now since I'm not a math whiz in my head, let's go ahead and take this calculator. 3,638,000. And then we're going to minus the 3,462,000. And we come up with 176,000 profit. 176,000 gold. That's not too bad. Uh, that's on this realm where the majority of this came from really from blacksmithing, engineering, and jewel crafting. Uh, that's where a majority of this came from, which was pretty sweet. I ran my TSM profile of, um, hey, this is everything that I want. And I spent maybe like a, a couple hours uh, crafting everything over a couple days and then just kept reposting it, right? And reposting it. And then this is what we come up with. That's pretty good. That's almost to a WoW token. Well, I think they're like 250, 240-ish in, um, uh, in NA. I know they're more expensive in other places and I apologize for that. That sucks. But um you know, this is a week's worth of passive work. So that was, uh, and it was fun to do. Okay. So 176K profit on this realm, ending at 3,638,000 gold, gold between the characters. Let's go ahead and check out the next realm. Ham Sandwich uh, was my main for most of the expansion, alchemy and inscription. Uh, alchemy and inscription sort of falling off the, uh, the market right now. Uh, glyphs really took a huge hit when they merged uh, the auction house uh, for some reason. Um, when we put more people into the pot, uh, the more people decided, hey, we're going to make glyphs absolutely worthless now as, in terms of um, 
hitting gold. So, uh, yeah, so I haven't been doing much with that. There are still some really good things that you can sell uh, from both of them. The staffs do really well. Some of the newer glyphs. Um, and then alchemy, some of the, the trinket, the renewed combat trinket does really well. So you can still make a little bit of gold with them. I have not put much time into doing it um, this week. But we'll just look at a few things here. Maroon ink. Now this is from a shuffle that I did, and I, and I did a video about it as well. Uh, it is uh, you buy umbral ink and you trade it at the ink vendor. So for example, I got a bunch of umbral ink for like uh, four gold each, and then you buy these other inks like maroon ink, for example, and then these sell for like uh, 10, 11 gold. So you're making like six gold, five gold profit on each or whatever it is. Uh, Soul Keeper's Column, this is an inscription uh, weapon, made about 700 gold here. Newly Departed Codex, this is an offhand made by inscriptionist, I make about three to 400 gold there. And then just some uh, some herbs that I sold off, so uh, 1,455 gold there. And then I'm going to go ahead and relist this, you can see this uh, Endless Tincture Renewed Combat, it's got an 07 sell rate, sells for 3,200 gold. And uh, we're making about uh, 3K on it, actually. So that's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and list that and wait for that bad boy to sell. Let's move on. Deadly Wedgie. Another working and skinning. This was my secondary main or my main alt uh, there for a while. Um, again, haven't done much on this week. So let's just see what we got. Uh, leather Love Seat. That's pretty good. 2300 Probably made about, uh, I'd say about 2,000 gold on that. And then crafted Dreadful Gladiator's Kodo Hide Helm. Probably made about a thousand gold on that. So the the, uh, the crafted Dreadful stuff still does sell. Whether it's mail or leather or a plate. Seems like the plate sells a little better. But it definitely does still sell. So that's something I would consider keeping on the auction house. Is the uh, crafted Gladiator's gear. Let's go ahead and clear this out at 3600 gold and move on. Okay, Bank Sandwich. Uh, bank to run this room. Let's open it up and see. Some uh, saving grace actually here. Look at this. 34k. Uh, some pretty big sales. Um, Archetype of Malice. This is a crafted Zareth Mortis pet. I probably had this thing about three or two weeks. Listing it every 24 hours. Finally sold for 14k. And all it took me was Genesis Motes and some other mats that you essentially get for free. Uh, crafted Gladiator's Plate Helm, uh, real low price, but got rid of it. Barnacled Hernet Crab, always love to sell these. I buy these from Stormsong Valley with Polished Pet Charms. Um, more Crafted Dreadful stuff. Staccato Cuffs, no idea. Probably came from a transmog somewhere. Archetype of Multiplicity, another Zareth Mortis Craft for uh, almost 6k. Energized Mana Fiend, two Energized Mana Fiends. Rustic Voodoo Wand, 243 gold. That's just a, an old transmog from somewhere. Uh, Toothy, another battle pet. So sold several battle pets this week. Um, 4,600 gold. Now I got this during the, um, I think it's the Burning Crusade time walking. You can actually buy um, bags of fishing. Uh, I think it's called Bags of Fishing Treasures or something like that for um, time warped badges and you have a chance to open them and get one of like four uh, crocolis pets the only other way to get those is to go to shatrath city go to old man barlow right outside the city and if he has a world quest called um crocolis in the city you do that then you turn it in then you get the bag and you have a chance to get them as well but during the uh, the time walking um, I picked up quite a few of them, and so this one sold for 4600 That's pretty nice. And just another old transmog there. 34 k love it. Let's open that up. All right, let's check it out. Let's check out all the finals here. Looks like last week we ended at uh, 3607000 and then this week we are at 3650000 uh, so 3,650,000. Uh, I think I can do this math in my head, right? That's 43,000, right? 43,000. Uh, yes, 43,000 gold profit. Um, not too shabby for just reposting old stuff, not really putting in any active work. Uh, can't do this in my head, so let's go ahead and pull this up. 
you can see the profit uh, 176k on the one realm and then 43k on the other realm 219,000 gold uh, profit and I love that that's awesome and then let's go ahead and add up the 3,638,000 plus the 3,650,000. And all together, that is 7,288,000 gold. So I know it's not almost gold cap because it's between two realms. I just haven't transferred everybody over into one realm. You know. But still, 7,228K, uh, that is pretty good. That's, you know, you can buy your WoW token, you can buy any mounts, you can do your repairs. You, you're not really restricted uh, by gold at that point in the game, right? And I typically make about 200,000 gold um, a week just doing what we just talked about, um, crafting things, selling things on the auction house, farming so that's pretty steady for me, uh, which is, you know, if, if you do about 250K, uh, that's about a million gold um, a month. And I do that just uh, casually. So it's definitely doable. Um, and I hope you all learned something. Uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, I hope you do take some of these things that I've done and you see them and then, you know, you can make them better. Or you can, you know, go deeper into them and make uh, a ton of gold. Mine sort of spread out because that's how my brain works. And uh, also for content creation, I like to do different things. But uh, you can definitely make some gold out there. It's the end of Shadowlands. Gold making is getting tough, but not impossible. But when Dragonflight comes out, I mean gold making is going to be crazy again there's no farms right now that i know of that are giving you like 100k an hour right but when dragonflight comes out there's going to be crazy farms especially in the first couple weeks that are going to give you probably that or more per hour it's going to be insane at least that's how other expansions have went so i'm really looking forward to it so thanks everybody for watching uh don't forget to sub to the channel if you like the content like the video join the discord and have fun playing the game it is just a game right have fun playing it enjoy it and until next time i'll catch you all later